Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be working on creating our new app. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and get started. So I've already created a project here. It's, uh, this is what you get now right out of the box. So when you select, uh, so let me choose the right simulator first, and then I'm going to show you what I did. So basically, when you create your new file, new project, and um, when the dialog shows up, I'm using iOS and app, and then I'm going to click next. So basically here, when you enter your um, pro project name and fill out rest of the information, uh, you have a choice to basically follow UI kit app lifecycle, which is the new uh, app lifecycle that follows or builds um, around complete Swift UI. Um, uh, experience uh, basically window group and everything that's what I used uh, but you can even like you know create the old UI delegate or app delegate stuff um, if uh, that's what like you know uh, if, the, if that's what you need okay uh, by the way there is a way uh, for you to get the app delegate going or app delegate included in your Swift UI app as well. So in probably in one of the video, I'll actually, or one of the video series, I'll actually show you how to do that. Okay. But uh, for, for today's, uh, uh, for today's app or the app that we're working on, uh, we are simply going to select everything default, like, you know, interface is going to be Swift UI, lifecycle is going to be Swift UI app and language is going to be obviously Swift. Uh, now you, you want to, you might want to actually, or, or actually uh, definitely you want to select this core data, use core data, click next, save, and that's actually going to create this project for you. Now Xcode 12 has changed the project template uh, when you create your core data project. Um, inside, um, inside Xcode 12 now, they actually try to put as much as, as much of a default content as possible to show you a good example. So you not only get your manage object context and stuff like that, uh, that you used to get, you also uh, get uh, basically an entity that has an attribute, right? And um, then you have your persistence uh, controller. So they have actually extracted it out and rather than putting inside the app, they have actually put it inside a, its own struct uh, and that's what's called persistence controller. And this persistent controller has like, you know, several things. So there's a preview section. This is for, this is specifically for preview. So if you're, um, if you're using previews, then you can use this. In my case, I'm going to delete it because I don't really like the sound of my max fan going all in, on and on especially when i'm recording so um but anyways you have this section for preview so this is going to be used like utilized in the preview section then you have your container then you have this uh, in it that takes the parameter uh, whether to create in memory container um, or out of memory so like you know an actual container file uh, basically a file store so in memory uh, basically is uh, it creates a, a persistence container and if it's a persistent container that's in memory then it creates like you know i think a file or something so this is brand new i haven't actually explored it i just noticed like you know a few days ago that there they've started putting this so i haven't actually really gone into this anyways this stuff is your good old loading persistent store stuff okay uh, syntax has slightly changed um, then you have your to-do list app uh, where you have your persistence controller uh, is being referenced and then your manage object context is being passed as an environment object uh, which is basically your persistent controller cont controller dot container dot view context then you have your content view okay and your content view extracts your manage object context from environment variable it creates a fetch request uh, with an s sort descriptor so this is actually nice that they are all they're already providing uh, some sample code uh, so you don't have to like you know you can actually reference this easily and then they're creating um, a simple list that has a delete functionality and everything and and they're putting this like you know new uh, sort of code in place to show you how you can actually show the edit button and add button depending upon if you're on iOS or 
or on Mac OS or iPad OS and stuff like that. Um, then you have like, you know, add item, which has with animation, you can add items and stuff. You can delete item with animation. So you have that sample code going, um, you have some date formatters and stuff. And this is the section I was talking about when I was telling you previews. So this uses, if you, if you notice pre uh, persistence controller dot preview dot container dot view context. If you go back to the app, this uses persistence controller dot container dot view context. Okay. And uh, so that's how it actually differs because preview has its own persistence controller and, um, and, and basically your persistent container has a different, different path. Okay. This is more optimized basically, for obviously for running canvas and stuff like that. Okay. Um, so those are some of the changes uh, that they have done in the template, which I actually um, I actually like these changes because um, these changes uh, give you at least a working example that you can work off of or at least get started. Okay, um, so this was our project creation. Now let me um, create a couple of groups before ending this. Um, ending this video. So let's create some, let's do some organization. So I'm going to create app and uh, app related stuff. I'm going to put it inside. So info and um, yeah, that one we're going to leave it alone. Preview content. So we can actually uh, do some cleanup. There's going to be a new group. Uh, we're going to say view and or views rather. This one is going to have views um, and I'm going to create a new group called persist or persistence manager or something. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to put our persistence and our DB XC data model, XC data model into that. All right. Okay. So this is our uh, cleanup is done. Uh, now let's hop on to the next video where we're going to start working on our uh, speech to do this sexy model and going to basically change the persistence uh, class a little bit to reflect the changes that we need for our, um, for our project. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.